G'day, this is Captain Oop, and this is a two-shot submachine gun with 25% faster fire rate and 15% faster reload. Now, the third legendary effect there, faster reload, probably not the best for a submachine gun. It's got a pretty sizable mag capacity with a large quick eject drum giving you 62, not 100, 62. Used to be 100 in Fallout 4, but they nerfed it because reasons. Balance is not one of them. I would prefer either weightless or faster vats criticals or possibly even less vats costs so i could spam this in vats a little bit more but beggars can't be choosers and we can't be re-rolling these things infinitely until we get world servers we're gonna hold out until then so uh, what i like about the submachine gun the uh, thompson submachine gun the knockoff um is it's got a high rate of fire at 107 um that's a little bit higher than what you'd usually get out of your uh, automatic weapons, so what you can do is boost the DPS quite a lot. But the catch is you've got to be at very close range. This is only at range 90, whereas regular handmaids and fixes with longer barrels will be at a range of about 162. So that's something to look out for. Our accuracy and weight are kind of not great either, but they're kind of secondary. Uh, most of the time you'll be aiming to get up close even in that so the accuracy penalty is not really that much of a thing unless you want to use concentrated fire just to pull in the slack and let that happen but there's no point in using that or this thing at very far ranges because it'll get soaked up and it will get soaked up a lot because we've got to spread this damage between two projectiles now we've prepared for that a little bit using the armor piercing receiver Hopefully that'll make us do a little bit better, but we're doing 58 damage now. It's almost 6 o'clock, so we'll be able to shoot super mutants with big, big damage bonuses. Not as big as they once were. Okay, so here we are in the lair of Cthulhu. Yeah, that's what it says, right? And uh, we've got a buff right now giving us crit damage, so I won't be using Vats. I've just swapped uh, Concentrated for R out for rank 3 of Ground Pounder instead of rank 2. And here are my legendary perks. Note follow through here, going to be very useful. Far flung fireworks might get me killed later. We'll have to see. I've also got 10 drives, so that's multiplicative. Uh, the weapons, uh, armor we're going to be utilizing is going to be all chameleon. AP refresh, uh, except for that one with ha which has agility. Four is quite enough, and the object here is to see how we do without the use of that. Now, I've noticed that uh, this thing, it's got a fairly decent amount of recoil, which I can forgive it for, you see. Oh, I, I killed enough legendary enemies. Great, we're going to have our screen obstructed by something. Okay, it's not too big. Okay, I then I picked up a baseball bat at the same time, and now I can't see a thing. So, things are going pretty well right now. As you can tell, uh, no issues with taking down enemies very quickly. It still takes a lot more bullets than what a uh, better weapon would. I'm not going to name it, but you could probably figure out what I'm you're alluding to. But it seems to be doing okay so far. Uh, plenty of damage numbers spraying everywhere, which is kind of amusing too, so that's good. Uh, what we could do to maximize our ammo efficiency here is just... Like, shoot him, shoot him with, like, one shot. It'll be two shots, though, because we fired the two projectiles. And then immediately uh, wait a second and then shoot him with follow-through if we really wanted to maximize our uh, efficiency. Thought he didn't die. Threw me off there. But we don't have to do that. We've got plenty of DPS, and we've got all of this spraying power to keep on spraying them down. It almost kills them faster than what it takes for the game to kick in the follow-through, which I think is a pretty neat thing. We will see more use out of that on tougher enemies, but these super mutants are dropping black flies. We're crushing them. Are these... Yeah, they're level 100 super mutants too, so... They're a little bit on the tanky side, but even then, we're just crushing them. I'm gonna hit fire this one from back here. Even with Ground Pounder, you can't tune this thing's hip fire accuracy with true barrels and stocks or aligned and such. So, uh, it's not great. Not the. It's interesting, though, because submachine guns generally in video games have very good hip fire accuracy because they're, they're designed to be these close range weapons where you can deal a lot of damage, but then you get outpaced by uh, rifle damage at longer ranges. That's generally how it works in, uh, in video games. And unfortunately. Uh, the flip that around in Fallout 76 because you can have sniper rifles with true um, parts on them to have basically perfect hip fire accuracy, which is fun, but 
This one's a little bit left in the dust. I don't know whether this was like a design oversight or no one figured out that anyone was going to use it. Or I don't know. Maybe they just forgot about it and they're not going to admit to their incompetence by patching it later on. Maybe the play base doesn't use it enough. Also, this is the the Blood Eagle Charmer leather outfit. It's like what the dudes used to wear in Fallout 3 because the clothing was gender specific. I, I believe these were similar, if not the same outfit, just... Uh, whether your character's gender would, would change what it looked like. Alright, so we've still got uh, five minutes left of crit damage, so we might save that until later, because for now, we're doing pretty well on just blasting these guys with many bullets like this. Oh yeah, we're killing these ghouls even faster than the super mutants. I mean, obviously they're a little bit more squishy. But if we happen to get swarmed by these guys, we've got the mag capacity to back ourselves up here, so that's good. Not that we'll need it, because we've got a suppressor and a set of chameleon armor and also a build that is uh, made for being sneaky and stealthy. But I'm I'm keeping on the move here, because as, as, as soon as the chameleon effect comes on, I lose the ability to use my reflex side. I have to kind of eye it off in the middle of the screen. Now, fortunately for me... Eyeing things off is what I'm good at, because I'm a roofer. Also, I've got the crosshairs to reference before I aim down sights to use, but still. I've got the tradey the tradies precision, mate. Can draw a perfect circle <laughs> on, like, a sheet, where it's not a, not a flat surface. It's good as. These are very important skills to have, especially when playing Fallout 76. That's why I'm better than everyone else. <laughs> Anyways, so bullshit aside, this thing is having really no issues, and I can't wait for this timer to be over so I can use it in bats. And looks like it's time to throw it down, but then it wasn't, because as soon as he walked around the corner, well, he forgot where I was. This one, not so lucky. Well, he was a little bit more perceptive, but I think I may have hit him with a tormentor, caused him to stagger, and then that was kind of over, because then I could just fill him up with many of these 45 rounds. Don't exactly know who's pissed off at me at the moment, but these ghouls surely didn't put up much of a fight. But right, I'm gonna wait around for a little bit and then we'll start using this thing in bats against the blood eagles and then swan because we're gonna crit spam a little bit. Okay, now we've got the Am I hooked on something? I don't know why I had to... I don't know why uh, Vault Boy is looking like that. But the, as you can tell, we've got no massive damage crit buff, so time to go nuts and vats because I'm bored of aiming, to be honest. And that person's bored of living. They made one fatal slip playing the banjo in the middle of the night when they should probably know by now what was going to happen if they're in the same universe in a private server as this individual. Righto, so we're pretty much stomping all of them just giving him the one tap in the head and that is enough to do him in there's probably the laser gun guy somewhere there you are so yeah and now that might be full adrenaline certainly is we'll pop a fresh mag in this even though 50 will probably get the job done twofold and then we'll run to swan and see what kind of uh damage we can get now he's already up and about which is good so i can Sneak in and get a better shot of his head. I don't actually know what aggroed him at all there. But, yep, we're being penalized by that range now. We'll go over 69 and then... Yeah, nice. Yeah, thanks, game. That was meant to happen there. Also, I just noticed something. Let me just fix that. All right, we're good to go. All right, Crab Town. It awaits, and we got to do some extermination work. Because as far as the game's concerned, these guys are bugs too. At least with the Exterminator's Legendary Effect. They don't really fit in with anything else though, do they? I mean, hunters would... I mean, they're animals. They're crustaceans, right? That's what crabs are. They're a type of... I don't know. I'm not a biologist, would you believe? I just put metal on a roof, a house frame. That's what I need to do. And that's good. We actually crushed that. Um, did we get that Blood Eagle too? Did we? Nice. So, yeah, we uh, managed to smash a bunch of 45s into that person's face. I haven't been really focused on what this weapon is doing, but it's doing really well. Um, 
like I predicted though, at range this thing suffers both in accuracy and in damage output. Oh yeah. Less than a mag. So we could we could technically call it one magged, but you know, not one vats bar. See if we had less vats cost, you may have gotten away with that, but it's fine. Alright, so we're starting over here today because I had my pay to win tent from yesterday. Yeah, I'm just that unpredictable. And uh, we'll be doing this basically the same. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a prime receiver here like I would possibly in future videos. Uh, once we get free crafting servers. Oh, that's going to be so good. I was, I'm so excited. I haven't felt this excited for Fallout 76 before it was even released. It's good. We'll tickle the Scorch Beast, bring him over. If he lands, then we'll have a... Merry, merry field day of uh, emptying cartridges into said bat's noggin. He just fired that out of his asshole. Nice one. I'm impressed. Look at that. 205. And that's with uh, each of the different bullets there. Alright. Don't shoot him whilst they're going through their flight animations because they're just immune to it. He's firing way too fast. I think that Scorch Beast was cheating in some description. They they used to like, go like that all the time, actually. But then um, Bethesda said, no, this is too much. Players were getting s smashed by them. So they gave him like a 10-second cooldown between bursts. I was just like, what? Oh, look, there's another one. Stupid bat, you go die now. Awesome. I mean, we're, we're giving away a lot of 45 to do this, but we're making good time here, which is good for your viewing experience, because that means you can go back to doing what you were doing before you started watching the video. That's pretty cool, right? We should get one here as well. Yeah, hopefully I don't get spotted. I've squandered a lot of the time here. That's okay. I was at point blank range. That probably wouldn't have gone any other way, even if I didn't utilize vats there and well i think i like this gun it's pretty good recoil is a bit off and uh that's okay though because the recoil like this you're never going to want to use it at long range anyway so uh yeah that's definitely something uh that i don't really feel bad about oh look the wendigo is scorched and got killed by the, the feral ghoul he totally stole my kill we got an assassin's pipe revolver Bet you're jealous of me now. Getting god rolls on the daily here. Well, I don't think I've got anything more to add. The weapon kind of spoke for itself because, well, it killed a lot of things. It's just a little bit intensive on ammo. It's kind of like the light machine gun's little brother. It just goes through a lot of ammo. It's got a big drum on it. And uh, uh, this thing, unfortunately, isn't best in its class like its big brother, but... It's, it's pretty good. It's not something you'd probably want to take to Scorched Earth because it'll just use up all your ammo. But for style points, if you really like Thompson's and that's good, um, you can use one. Uh, if you want to see this weapon in your game, let me know if you want it. Otherwise, it'll be going into a script bin. I actually picked this up during a live stream. Everyone was telling me to buy it. Here it is. You want it now? I don't know how much I bought it for, but I'll sell it for less than what I got it for. I'll make a loss on it, sure. I'm not a very good businessman. And on that bombshell, time for me to go. Thanks for watching, guys.